Hi, this is Tracy from Prepped and Polished with an overview of the geometry and trigonometry concepts tested on the ACT. The breakdown of this content is as follows. We have plane geometry problems, which are 23% of the math questions, and that equates to 14 questions. Coordinate geometry is 15% of math questions, so that's 9 questions. And trigonometry is 7% of the math questions, and that's only 4 questions. For those of you concerned about not having trigonometry, uh, either you'll be taking it your junior year, if you may not take it at all, it's only four questions. So either you can work with a tutor, or you can guess on these questions, or even eliminating these four questions should not hurt your score too much. The plane geometry concepts include the perimeter and area of polygons, triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. You should know the formulas for the areas to find the areas of these shapes. Different types of triangles, such as equilateral, isosceles, and similar triangles. Properties of circles, such as how to find the circumference and area. Angles and their rules, such as a straight line has 180 degrees. Right triangles and the rules of right triangles. Composite shapes. Those are when they take two standard shapes, such as a square and a triangle, and they may ask you to find the area or perimeter of that shape. And you should also be familiar with translations, rotations, and reflections. For coordinate geometry, you should be familiar with number lines and how to use them to solve problems. The xy coordinate plane, know which quadrant is which and the value of the x and y coordinates in each quadrant. Lines and slope, perpendicular and parallel lines, how their slopes relate to each other and how to define them. Different types of graphs, such as just points on a graph, line graphs, polynomials, circles, and other curves. You should know how to calculate the distance and the midpoint, so you should know those formulas. And you should also be able to understand about graphing inequalities. For the trigonometry concepts that you need to know, the main focus is on sine, cosine, and tangent. So if you remember Sakatoa, where the sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side, you should be pretty set. But you should also know about right triangles, the Pythagorean theorem, or what maybe cosecant, secant, and cotangent might come in to a problem. You should be familiar with the graphs of the sine and cosine functions and have some awareness of the trigonometric identities, such as sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So this is an overview of the geometry and trigonometry, and if you need any help in preparing for the math section or any section of the ACT, please contact us at preppedandpolished.com.